Hey guys, it's Nate with Sauce Ain't the Boss here again, and today is day number 113 of quitting alcohol. You know, today I was thinking about how easy it is now, 113 days in, when the thought of drinking pops into my mind, of just saying, nah, that's not for me, and moving on. Whereas in the beginning stages, it was like a really pulling teeth to say, no, I'm not going to drink, and kind of will myself through it a little more in the beginning, uh, rather than it being just something that's conditioned in me now to not drink. And um, I was thinking about how uh, the second longest time that I had ever gone without alcohol, because I'm on the longest time I've been without alcohol now in 20 plus years, but um, I had gone two months without alcohol and then Super Bowl rolled around. And uh, that was kind of the trigger that made me want to drink, you know. Uh, Everybody else is drinking today. Why can't I drink? And it'd be nice to drink and beer. And, and of course, during Super Bowl, there's all these beer advertisements coming on. And, um, and leading up to Super Bowl, it just seems like alcohol advertisements everywhere. You go into the grocery stores and there's all these beer Super Bowl displays up and stuff like that. And um, so anyway, uh, that was the day after going two months that... Um, I decided to go back to drinking and I remember it being a decision and I remember it being um, a really a, a struggle and um, a bit of turmoil because I had gone two months. I had gone the longest I had been up until that point of not drinking and it was easier. I remember the decision being easier to say no, but um, I decided to give in anyway. And my point of bringing this up is is now it's even easier being 113 days in than it was at those 60 days to say no when something like that, a trigger pops up. And um, what I'm trying to express to you guys is it does take time to where it gets easier and easier and easier. And um, I think about now how much I would have to lose and give up to make that decision to say, yes, I'm going to drink when that thought pops in my head. I'd have, you know, these 113 days, I'd be starting all over again because, you know, I was the kind of person that when I started drinking and um, I hadn't been drinking in a while, I would go back to it hardcore and be stuck in that trap again for months and months before I had the courage to quit again. So um, I want you guys to, to kind of understand and think about the fact that, you know, if you're uh, a month in or if you're two months in, three months in, it's easier now to say no and not give up and sacrifice all the great things coming into your life to go back to drinking. Uh, it's easier to say no now. And I want to tell you guys, if you're only, you know, one day in, one week and two weeks in, it seems like it's really hard to say no, but know that that decision gets easier and easier to make as the cravings and triggers come along as you get further into the journey. So you just got to kind of stick out and maybe pull that willpower tool out just temporarily in the first couple of weeks to get through those um, sneaky little thoughts popping in your head and the little triggers and just kind of get, get through that time and then understand and know that it does get easier and easier because as you get further along in this journey, uh, you'll have all these wonderful things starting to happen in your life. Your thoughts will get clearer. The brain fog lifts. Your weight will start to um, reduce if you're overweight as long as you're not replacing the alcohol with bad foods. Um, and uh, you'll, you'll, your relationships will improve. Your finances will improve. All the things that I've talked about in these videos will start to improve. And so you sit there and you go, why would I want to go back to drinking when all this great stuff is starting to happen? But in the beginning stages, you know, it's easy when you're day one, day two to say, now nah, I'm just going to go back to drinking because you haven't given it enough time for um, all the great things to start happening in your life. So, so just think about that no matter, I guess, what stage uh, of the journey you're in. You could be one day in or 10 years in. I think that um, just understand that when you make that decision, and it is a decision, am I going to drink or am I not going to drink? Um, understand that the decision to um, not drink is going to have far better rewards than the decision temporary fix to go back to drinking again and having to start the entire process over again, getting wrapped up in the alcohol again and going back to that life that honestly you've been trying to get away from. Why would you want to put yourself back into that prison cell of being a drinker when you've been spending so much time and effort and energy trying to get yourself out of that. 
And um, so that was the topic for today, just the understanding and realization that those decisions to not drink get easier and easier as time goes on. And uh, the more you make that decision to not drink when those triggers and those things happen, um, the stronger you get, the more confidence you'll have to say no next time in those types of situations. And, uh, you know, the more you pre prove to yourself that you can get along with this journey and uh, have a great life, you know. So uh, that's it for today, guys. If you're getting anything out of these videos, give them a like. Subscribe to the channel if you can. And most importantly, remember, sauce ain't the boss. You are. You guys have a great day.